Hiya, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw. If you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing, guys, then thank you for coming back. Um, so grab yourselves a nice hot drink and some snacks. I've got my little um, Pan Lam mug on the go today, which I got when I picked up all this makeup, which I absolutely love. It's just so lovely. You've really got to get one of these for a pound. They're just amazing, aren't they? Um, and I've got Pepsi, because uh, that's how I roll lately. <laughs> <laughs> um, so today's video is a complete face of Pan Lam makeup. I'm really hoping that this is really good stuff. I've had some really good reviews off you guys since I purchased it in my Pan Lam haul last week. I'll link that below in the description box as well if you'd like to check that out. And also I'm going to link my Instagram as well so if you'd like to give me a follow on there that would be lovely. Um, so I picked up quite a few bits so I got like all the bits that I needed like bronzers, pressed powders, Blushes, brow stuff, eyeshadow, mascara, lipstick. The only thing I couldn't get my hands on was the foundation in there. Um, some of you guys have been a little bit like, well, actually, it's probably a good thing because that's the only thing that's a little bit naff. I suppose where they have to have such moisturising things and stuff in it, maybe because it's so cheap, they can't really make it that great. Um, but I do suffer with my skin. I'm having, I know I'll say it, and I'll have the worst case again but I was having really bad skin I was literally full of spots all over my face I suffer with adult acne and um, and sometimes I have to use medicaid cream but sometimes I'm okay it sort of depends on my hormones as well um, at the minute I've been so good with my skin that it's, it's really just done my skin wonders I've been giving it a steam every now and again cleansing it a few times and really not trying not to wear no makeup and I've tried to cut out sugar a little bit as well because I found that might have been contributing to it. Oh, look at me, get all stuck. Um, so yeah, my skin's all right at the moment. Um, still a little bit red, um, but um, I'm going to be using my own foundation. I don't want to really be using it in anything that I don't normally use in case I really get a flare up. So the foundation that I will be using is my cheap limp Rimmel. You can get this for a fiver in most super drug stores and boots. Um, so this is Rimmel London, last and finished, 25 hour, and it's got a comfort serum in it. SPF 20 in it as well. I like a little one with an SPF in it. Um, and this is 303 True Nude. I do normally have a lighter colour, um, but as summer was coming, I tend to get a dark, that dark colour because I get a tan, but obviously because it's not very good weather in the UK right now, I don't think that happens. So it might be a bit darker than my face, apologies. Um, so we're gonna get on and I'm gonna clip my hair back and we're gonna get into the makeup video. And if you're just joining me now, because you're like Rosie, we can't be bothered to listen to you blabber on, then hi. And I'm not wearing the same dress. My last video I was wearing this dress, but that was a week ago. I haven't just kept this on the whole time. I just, when I've got a favourite dress, I can't stop wearing it. So I've already cleansed and toned my face. I'm all ready to go, prepped. I've got a little foundation brush. It's the Pro Angle Face Brush. It probably isn't the foundation from Primark. And I'm just going to put a little bit of my foundation on. I'm running low, guys. We're running low. So this is hopefully a really nice, quick video. I've got a little mirror in the background. I can hopefully, yeah, sorry, I'll go a bit quiet while I'm doing my makeup, I zone out. <laughs> and I've also got Millie in the background, don't I know? Say hi. Hello. She's painting in the background. We was kindly sent out. These are so lovely. Um, I wasn't meant to show them on here, but I thought I would share them with you in case you sort of like are based in the UK. I don't know if she does send them out um, to other countries or not, but definitely give her a little shop her, follow on Instagram and have a little look on her Etsy. She sent these out, these have been gifted. Um, these are like little kits with plaster names. I think one of them's open for the boys. And you can get your child's name. And she does all these little kits that comes with like paintbrush and all the stuff and glitter and gems. And a little dinosaur magnet for the boys. Um, that's Archie's one. It's just so nice because the kids can then sit down and they do them, they can go in their bedroom or you know, Put them on a frame, glue them on a frame. They're really cute little bits. Um, so that was kind of good today. It's called Kirsty's Unique Corner. Yeah, I'll show you it. Because that is what Millie's doing in the background currently. Right now, I'll link it down below in the description box if you want to have a look. You're doing some lovely painting. It's lovely. Lovely colour pinks, aren't they? <laughs> she loves painting and decorating and stuff. She's like her mum. I should have used the bigger brush for this, really. It's probably like the worst makeup video in the world. Or I should have put my foundation on first. I do apologise guys, I'm not a makeup artist and that's one other thing I will clarify. Um, if you are thinking to yourselves, the makeup looks horrendous, that might not be the quality of the makeup. I'm literally telling you about the quality of the makeup, not how it looks because I am not a makeup artist. Drag it down on my neck a little bit. 
Right, now that's on. I'm going to set it with the pressed powder. So this is the Makeup Gallery. This is still the Pound Shop Makeup. Um, and this is the Natural Beige number two. Apparently it's got a shine-free finish and contains vitamin E. Someone did ask if it was cruelty free. It doesn't say it isn't, so I don't know if it is. I hope it is, but it may not be, so I'm not sure. So with my little angle brush, I'm just using any brushes that currently don't need washing, guys. <laughs> That's how I do it. Um, and I'm just going to tap it all over to get rid of my oily foundation. In actual fact, that's a really nice colour, and it isn't very cakey either. Sometimes these can be really, really cakey. It's actually quite nice. It smells quite nice as well. Sometimes they have that sort of like, I don't want to say fishy smell, but it's got that chemical smell. You know when sometimes they smell a bit strange makeup? It hasn't got that. I ever find you get really perfumed makeup that smells really nice. Or like sometimes it smells a bit rough if it's a bit cheap. Come here, it's a bit rough. Um, that's quite nice actually yeah that's okay it isn't too cakey and it isn't hyper hyper pigmented sometimes these have got like really yellow or orange tones in them this is quite very like quite well goes with my um, foundation Put that on. I did get myself a bronzer so I didn't get myself a contour but I'm using the bronze shimmer in the medium number four and this contains vitamin A, UVA and UVB filters as well which is really good um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of contour because they didn't have a contour kit in my one. They might do them. Have a little look at the selection that they do. And just under my cheeks, I'm going to squeeze in and just make a little contour of a line here. I'm literally the worst at makeup, guys. I'm very slapdash. How long does it take to do my makeup in the mornings, Millie? Not that long. About five minutes, isn't it? And I'm also going to do a little contour around my forehead. So they say it's like a, it should be a number three, so you should do it like that. And then around the jawline. So I try and stick to that basis, whether or not. So I'm going quite heavy with this, because then I'm going to add a little bit of bronzer as well. And then I'm going to do my jawline. Bring it down. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the bronzer now on a big bronzing brush. These are all my little real technique ones. Um, and I'm just going to blend it but also bronze my skin. Does anyone else put a weird makeup face and like that? When I'm doing lipstick and what I make, I'm going <laughs> oh, Attractive. Make sure you go on your neck to sort of blend in your foundation. My necklace is up. A little bit on my V. That's how you wear V-necks, isn't it? Oh, this is quite nice actually. It's not too orange. It's giving me like a holiday glow. Got like a, it's got like a pinky beige to it. And it isn't super pigmented. It's shiny. You know, and they have specks of glitter in it, which I really like because then it looks more natural. That's quite nice. So that is the bronze shimmer and that's in the medium four. And I'm also going to try the blusher. I do apologise. If you've come on here expecting like an actual makeup tutorial and like a ring light in the background and me being like, I'm going to give you a snatched face. Thank what you've come on here for, sister. <laughs> I'm literally telling you whether this is good or not. So, we shall see. <laughs> so now I've got the blusher, Makeup Gallery, feeling, feeling blush blusher. And this is in Coral Rose. Um, Coral Rose number four. So let's have a look. This looks lovely, this colour. And I do love a bit of blusher. I think it instantly makes it nice. If I'm going out and I'm not wearing makeup, sometimes I just put a little bit of blush on. Even though I do have extremely pink cheeks anyway. Yeah, and that was why I was called Rosie, believe it or not. So I'm going to give it a little smile. Everyone loves to smile. And then on the apples of my cheeks, just put a little bit of blusher. And I tend to dab it. And then with my bronzing brush, just sort of swift it over with the bronzer. Try and make it look a little bit more natural. It's actually give quite a pretty little rose glow, actually. It's quite nice. It's quite nice. Now, I would, I would normally use like a powdered shimmer like highlighter, but because they only had cream ones in the pound shop, I'm going to be using this one. This is Bloom 2. So the Bloom 1 was a little bit like a bluey tone, a little bit more too bright. So this is more of like a champagne colour. And I'm just going to give myself a little bit of a highlight using a brush. I don't know if this is going to work because it's leaving a little bit of like hair on there. And I'm going to just under my eyes... Try and give a bit of a, a highlight. 
Actually, do you know what? That's quite pretty. Oh, that looks quite nice, isn't it? The one I'm really interested in, in finding out is about the brow stuff. I was look crazy until I've done my brows and eyes. I'm going to go a little bit down my nose. You can see as that light's coming in, it sort of hits that top of my lip. Tip of my nose. That's actually really pretty. It's really delicate. I always go a little bit under my brows as well. This isn't really the order you should be doing your makeup in, but that's just me. <laughs> and that was another real technique. That's a setting brush. So I'm not using them for the correct terms, what they are. And also, I've got the brow stuff. So this is the brow kit, and this is in the uh, this is vegan, so well, this is sound on the back. Um, slay your brows all day with the this one brow kit oh all in one with this all in one brow kit i was like that isn't written properly <laughs> and this is blonde number one so they have quite dark colors where i've got like one of them bristles has gone up my nose and i feel like you know when they give like what's that thing you know the cartoon they give oh that's it horses they give feathers to horses and make some sneeze in cartoons i've got like a not wizardora now the wizard with the thing on the nose yeah i've got like a tickle look my case i'll wipe that off <laughs> um, so I've got the blonde because these are quite dark colours so they've got the blondy colour there and they've got the wax to set it but these two colours are extremely dark so the other ones were almost like black the colours um, so I'm going to go in with the medium brown to start off and I'm just using my very very old eyebrow brush that I use in all my makeup videos get ready with me um, and what I do is I just use the width of this as my guide for my brows so now this is this is a powder, it's quite a, a cloggy powder, I know that sounds weird, it isn't like dust, it almost feels like, have you ever tried to sort of like paint your eyeshadow with a, a damp brush, you know like when you've washed them and they're still a bit damp and it makes it go a bit cloggy together, it's gone a little bit like that, hopefully it'll be fine, so I get the guide, and literally my eyebrow is the thickness of this brush, Quite a nice match actually with my hair that medium colour. I know we do my eyebrows really dark, it does make me laugh. Some of the comments I get on my eyebrows daily. Now, obviously, I very evidently don't have very many eyebrows naturally. When I dye them, they are a lot darker. They start here and they're here. All these here are blonde. So when I dye them, they look similar to this. But <laughs> I like a bit of a Martian. I don't really have just eyebrows. And some of the comments when I've gone a bit overboard with my eyebrows, like someone was like, what is wrong with your eyebrows? And I was just like, I think I went a bit heavy with the eyebrow makeup that day. So <laughs> um, Do you know what? I've got to say, my face feels quite nice and light. I don't feel like I've got too much on. Oh, that looks beautiful. Oh, you've got the glue undone? Yeah. We were struggling to get the lid off the glue. Yeah. I thought the glue might have like sort of got stuck to the, the lid. And then bring it down to my eyebrows. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, this is actually really nice stuff. I'm going to go in with the dark a little bit round the bottom. Sorry, I'm trying to... Oh, see, now it's quite dark. Um, but it is nice. The test will be how long this lasts for. Um, so, obviously, anyone that doesn't follow me on Instagram, I will let you know in the next video how long it sort of lasted for. Um, but you that are on Instagram, I'll be giving you a few updates throughout the day. Might do some social experiments, jump up and down, sweat, see if it stays on. <laughs> Go out in the rain, see if it stays on. Do a few, oh, do you know what? I've just, let me just wipe that off my hand, that dark colour. Not prepared with tissues. I'm going with the other eyebrow. And then I'll sort of fill them out properly. Honestly, you would never believe my makeup takes so quick, but when I'm not on the phone, film me, it takes me literally minutes. This is really, really nice. It's almost giving like quite a feathery look. It doesn't look it with that one because I feel like I've missed that bit there, but I will go in. This is actually really nice eyebrow stuff. This is all pound shop makeup and I feel like it's giving me quite a nice glow. Amazing. Like you could pay literally about £10. And this is still high street. We're not talking about like expensive makeup. I'm talking about high street makeup like Rimmel. You could still pay like £10 on like a bronzer, or bourgeois, like a 10 pound on a bronzer, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I've got eight pieces of makeup, eight pound, that's like amazing, I've still got lipstick and eyeshadow to go, the eyeshadow I'm really excited about, because I wear eyeshadow every day, like that is part of my um, 
my everyday makeup. I can't not wear eyeshadow. I've got very like oriental shaped eyes and they're like, what's it, almond, that's it. They're very almond um, and yeah, they sort of always feel a bit sunken in. I think it's because I'm so extremely pale with it as well. What? Right, we're coming up with the eyebrows. It's because it's hard, that mirror's a little bit far away, so I'm trying to get them done. <laughs> and I don't want them to be too strong either. Let's try and blend that last bit in. They're meant to be a little bit lighter near the front, aren't they? Like I say, this is probably my makeup skills, not really the actual makeup itself. Right, last little bit, I'm gonna do a bit dark in that one. Bring it in, what's it called? Snatch, you know when you get the makeup out of the lap. Mm-hmm, honey, we're gonna snatch this down. And it's like a 14 year old girl and she just knows how to make herself look like a princess. And I am 28 years old and I cannot even drop on an eyebrow. <laughs> oh. You know she better makeup than me, didn't you? They're all makeup artists, kids, aren't they? They're all makeup artists. Like, this one's straight and this one's arched. Right, we need to get off the eyebrow stuff because eyebrow stuff is really nice. I'm just rubbish at doing makeup. Some days, I do it quite all right and I get comments of you guys and you're like, your makeup looks nice today. And sometimes I get messages, like I said. Rosie, what's up with your eyebrows, babe? <laughs> right, so let's go in with the eyeshadow. So the eyeshadow is, it comes in a little box like this. And this is the Max and More Nude Eyes Selection. And this is the 12 Up Colour Eyeshadow Selection. I never use them sort of sponges that come with them. You can do. Um, I'm going to be using another Real Technique sort of like brush. I'm thinking of going in with this kind of like peachy colour in the middle. I'm um, thinking of going to this colour. It's very similar. See how pigmented this is. Well, that doesn't seem to have any pigment whatsoever actually so that's quite bad so I'm going to use the darker colour that's here to see if I'll get it yeah they are not very pigmented guys at all let's try the darkest colour yeah not really anything so I'm going with the darkest colour in the corner and I'm going to attempt to sort of put on a bit of colour it's a little bit darker on my eyes because it's sort of sticking to the Foundation, if you use primer, it might stick to it. And um, I'll try again with a peachy colour, but it's not really got a lot of pigment to it. It's more so sticking. So you would definitely have to wear, if you want to buy this, um, wear, get a primer, like an eye primer with this. I know a few people was like, Rosie, you shouldn't be wearing foundation on your eyelids. It makes the eyeshadow slip off. With me, unfortunately, it works. <laughs> with my eyes, I'm just, everyone has different skin, everybody's different aren't they and it just seems to work for me that's how I do my makeup but like I say I'm not a makeup artist it's weird though it is worth sometimes just sitting down and really taking your time because a few times I've gone on a night out with my friends and I've really took the time and they're not backwards and coming forwards they're like your makeup actually looks nice today <laughs> I'm like oh shut up you cares <laughs> it always looks all right and they're just like right there. No, babe, it don't. <laughs> I don't care. Because I'd rather drill a shelf up any day than sit there doing my makeup. Right, so it's gone under my eyes. I've been going to peach colour here and the two dark colours here. So they're the colours I've been going for. Um, it's okay. It's accentuated my eyes a little bit, but it isn't like extreme. And I think the colour's a bit weird. It's making my eyes here look a bit darker underneath. Um, but it is what it is. So now we're going to bring into the mascara, so I feel a bit foundation-y around my lips. Um, so this is the Turn Up the Volume and Define Makeup Gallery Mascara. This is in dark black. Oh, this is brown black. I picked up the wrong one. Oh well. I don't even know if there is any other colours. Well, now the brush is actually really nice. That looks like, um, is it Benefit? Give me, um, not give me brown, I'm thinking of the brow thing. They're real. Bad girl lashes, I'm not sure what they are, so gonna try and go in see here comes my mascara face now Black. oh 
Well, I'll tell you what, that brush is really good. That's really separating them lashes, making them look really, really separated. Now they're looking nice actually. Give one a little wiggle. Get it on. Do you know what? Years ago, when you used to buy cheaper makeup, it would literally be the kits that you would get for kids. I've put this on and I don't feel like I've got eight pounds worth of makeup on my face. I feel like I've got, you know, at least high street on. It's unbelievable. The colours and the pigments in the sort of like face powders and the bronzers and the blushers have impressed me. They really have. And I'll tell you what, this mascara is my favourite. That is amazing. They look like, you know, you can get that tinted sort of nourishing oil for your eyelashes. It isn't making them look clumpy, but it is making them look really long and natural. That actually is a really nice mascara. Right. Give it another coat just to sort of bring it out. I think if they'd have had a, like a jet black. Look, they're really pretty. They're really, um, look at me, I feel like Bambi. So I really like this mascara. This is a winner. What do you think, Mel? Yeah, you like it? Yeah. Go on with bottom lashes. It's weird, I've got hazel eyes. A lot of people think I've got brown eyes, but when it's raining out, this eye goes really green. Can you see that? Or do I, am I sounding mad? This eye goes green, and this eye goes brown. That's a sign of madness, you know that, don't you? That's a sign of madness. Um, and then when it's normal weather, they just, I think it's the everyday scent lighting or something. I think I learned that on Twilight the film. Right, getting on to the lipstick, our last little step, guys. Um, so this is London 23. And I tell you what, if this doesn't come out like a mix between Mac Murr and Velvet Teddy, I'll eat it because it just looks exactly the same. And I tried it on my hand, and this is a little tip as well. But well, isn't a tip, this is a fact, <laughs> more or less. Um, so I put this on my hand the other day when I was doing a panel video, and I washed my hands, done some washing up, done some cleaning. It would not budge. So this is really long stay lipstick, so get it on. Yeah, I like that colour. A very nice nude. Like that. She's all like, it's really nice. She didn't say that, she's just like. <laughs> Makeup always looks good. Oh, thanks babe, that's sweet. Now, because I've put on a powder, oh, that is really moisturising. I love that noise of lipstick. Um, so what does this say? Moisture lipstick, so that is why it's very moisturising, very natural. I would put on a setting spray. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of that mascara. I love a little lash, but love it. Is it Mary Quant? There used to be a singer and she had the most beautiful eyelashes and she used to just separate them, keep a mascara on all week. That's obviously not healthy and I'm not allowed to do that anyway because I've got like um, contact lenses in. But she has really big lashes. Right, let's take my hair around and see the Pound Shop makeup. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, I'm actually really impressed with that. It's left a really sort of fresh look, I feel. And also, it's given me a little bit of a glow. It hasn't sat in my wrinkles, like, so I've got wrinkly forehead and a few under here, and in my crow's nest. But that powder has not just sat in there. Sometimes these kind of powders really leave creases in there. The blusher looks like I've naturally a little bit flushed. The bronzer has made me look, because I'm very, very pale, it's brought out a bronze in me, but if you didn't see my arms, you would just say that I've caught a little bit of sun. Really lovely. So actually, the only thing I would say is a little bit disappointing is perhaps the eyeshadow, but you could always use the bronzer. Let's have a little look, see if that will sort of... Yeah, the bronzer's much nicer, so I could always go in uh, look how much darker that's made that already you could use the bronzer so you probably wouldn't even need the eyeshadow to sort of give you that definition the eyebrow stuff is amazing that is so lovely and obviously if you are blonde and uh, like, like me and Millie like Millie obviously doesn't wear makeup she's eight but say for instance in our household she is blonde so you could share this as well because it's got a little like blonde she could have the blonde I can use the brown I'm not going to share makeup because I know that's not healthy especially with the corona but I'm just saying, you know, like you, your kids nick your stuff, so I should be able to use that. Eight pounds worth of makeup, so the mascara, the lipstick. I'm gonna 
write down all the names of them below. Obviously, I can't link them because Pound Shop isn't online. But in case, say you were winding, if you did need to, if you did list, not, if you did want to hear the name of the actual makeup. Um, so yeah, bronzer. I'm just really happy with these items. They're so lovely. So hopefully, let me know what you think of it. If you think I still look rough. <laughs> Then maybe keep your opinion to yourself, thanks. Um, no, but it'll be really lovely to know what you think. I'm really loving this makeup, and what I really like is. You right there, mate? He's itching. He's well, he's itching his ear, Bertie. What I really like is you can still see my freckles for it, so you're still getting a little bit of natural underneath. You aren't completely caked, so yeah, I love it. So I've been Rosie Henshaw. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Take care, guys. Have a lovely rest of your day. Bye!